What's going on, everybody? In today's video, I did a sports card show challenge while I set up as a dealer. You guys should have seen a little bit of footage in the very beginning, and I'll explain why there's not much more, because I don't want to bore you with over an hour of people walking by and just staring, like, what the hell does this mean type deal. So, set up at a Derby City card show up in Louisville, Kentucky this past Saturday. Uh, I know 502 Frank came by, and we were talking about this. I told him I was going to post around 10, 1030 when there's a little more of a crowd that would be inside. Just so, you know, a little bit more busier, makes it a little bit harder, maybe a little bit competing between people. About an hour went by, and not one person I noticed came by, took a picture of the sign, or anything. Um, let me go ahead and pull the next picture up for you guys. Give me one second. I got a bunch of stuff on here. There we go. So that's a picture of what everybody saw from their vantage point. I was giving away 89 Top Trading Ken Griffey Jr. PSA 10, about $115, $120 car, depending on the day of the week and all that other fun stuff. Pull the first one back up. So on the sign. Now, I did post this on Instagram. I did a YouTube short just to let people know I was doing this. And be on the lookout. Just because I'm not set up at a card show, if I tell you I'm going, I might be doing a giveaway. I'll explain more on that towards the end of the video. So, with that being said, it was basically the first person to bring and give me five of the following cards. Wins the card below, which was the Griffey PSA 10. I need to show you were subscribed to the YouTube channel. The person won, I already knew he was subscribed. I'm good. <laughs> but... Top Stolen Ryan card, any Top Stolen Ryan card. It could be a 90, an 88, didn't matter. Pick it, uh, rookie card, Steelers uniform. Upper Deck Sidney Crosby card. Toss ben, ben, Big Ben card. A 60 through 69 Toss baseball, football, basketball card. We always have vintage guys out there with their like cheap stuff. Figured that'd be an easy one to grab. Pack of regular top loaders. Barry Bonds card. Anthony Edwards card. A Herbert Prism card. And finally, Jalen Hurts rookie card. So five out of those ten you had to bring me. Alrighty. So flipping back. There we go. So again, that was a display that was set up. Went up about 1025 to be exact. An hour went by. And I said, like I said, I put a post out on the YouTube community saying, this sign's been up for an hour. Not one person has made any kind of gesture or any kind of notion they were going for it. So on Instagram, he goes by Aiden's House of Cards, come up, just got out of work. He's like, it's still going on. I said, I don't think anybody started it, to be honest. He's like, snap with a picture and took off. I don't think it was more than 15, maybe 20 minutes tops. He grabbed all the cards. Now, I walked the show originally. It was probably about a third full of dealers. And I saw six of the cards there. So I knew we were in good shape. At least six of the items because the top loaders was there. I was like, it's kind of cool. All right, everything looks to be here. I didn't have to reach, scratch something out and, you know, handwrite something else onto there and everything. So, Aiden's House Cards comes back, shows me the five items. This is what he had to trade for. Pack of top loaders. Optic, I think that's second year Anthony Edwards card. Barry Bonds. Prism Fireworks. Big Ben Tops rookie, which he said was the most expensive out of the whole thing. And a Cindy Crosby Upper Deck Shining Stars. I think he said he spent... I care if he said 24 or 34 and everything there. If you really think about it, he made at least three, three and a half, well, probably about three and a half, I'd say, X of his money back onto it. Somewhere between three, three and a half if he goes to sell the card. Not too bad. Gave enough warning out there for everybody to come wait when that sign pops up. Grab your picture, go. All righty. Let me go to the last one. So there's a picture of Aiden's house of cards. You guys want to follow him on Instagram, go ahead. I don't know if I'll get be able to put it in the video or not. It should be popping up, though. All right, back to the original thought process here now. <laughs> Had to redo the video. I forgot to turn my mic on. I know. Freaking noob. A rookie, whatever else he's called. But um, I did try to airdrop out there. Two people had their airdrop on. Daddy01. Gotta let everybody be able to airdrop to you. I couldn't send you nothing. It just said it would not allow it. So that means when you go on, you enable your airdrop by both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You have to make sure it's for everyone. Because uh, it would not let me go through. There, And the reason why I know it, it had to be something like that is I had my iPad. And my iPad has, if you guys know, 
it has a different phone number to your iPad versus your cell phone. And I airdropped to my iPad. It worked. So I think it was like the third time just opening my phone up doing the airdrop. And there was somebody said like iPhone on there. Go to send it. And they must just close their phone out. Ah, oh, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Guys, when you're at the shows, and if I say I'm going to a show as a buyer, I may airdrop just out of random curiosity, you gotta come find me. I may take a picture and post it on Instagram or do a YouTube real quick sure well, like this is what I look like take the card show. If I airdrop, you gotta find me. Airdrop is you gotta find me in five minutes, I give you the prize. Kind of cool, something different to make shows a little bit different and exciting out there. A little bit of a different type of video, too, gets produced out of and everything. I had fun with this. It was really fun. Um, thanks to everybody on Instagram and uh, through Discord as well. That Because I ran this through a couple people on Discord and Instagram, and they thought this was a really cool idea to do. So we're going to continue with this. The next card show challenge will be... Gosh, I think it's January 14th. It'll be the Derby City Card Show again. It's their January show. So we'll run the card show challenges when I am set up as a dealer. And I may airdrop at any time. So like I said, you're on airdrop. When I'm at a show and I airdrop, five minutes, come find me, get your prize. All right, guys. Uh, pretty much it. I'm going to do a separate video on the card show itself. And just one card I picked up there. But I kind of like this. It's a little bit different uh, of a way of doing giveaways, especially to card shows and stuff. A lot of people out there support me. I know you guys watch the channel and everything like that. Wanted to be able to do something different, kind of, you know, spice up the card shows and stuff like that. Hopefully, you know, we get more people involved later on. It might be, you know, something crazy. The first 10 people to show me they're subscribed to my channel we each get a pack of, like, I don't know, 1920 prison basketball hobby or something like that. It could be anything. So just be on the lookout for these YouTube shorts videos. Make sure you are subscribed. You have the little bell notification on for that stuff. Because I don't think I'm going to give more than a day notice. It might be the night of before I'm going to a show. So you just guys going to have to catch that stuff that way. All right. Appreciate everybody for watching the video. You guys have a good rest of the week. I'm out.